Hey guys, hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon and Nabob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. Now, let's talk hypocrisy. Uh, I choose not to say where I'm from, but uh, I got a yes, Bobby. Uh, dear Dora, uh, I've been f with him since uh, so sick because I used to be the guitar player. Who, Ooh. baby? He told me his name was Theodore, but it's Teddy. Ooh, you done called my T with Teddy Theodore. Wait a minute, we let, need a little bit yeah, more than 40 yeah, seconds. That's just a snap name, Theodore. We might need a little bit more than 40 seconds. Can Ooh. you give us a little bit of rundown here on the Queen's Court? I like how you said Theodore. Sure, his name is Glendon, Theodore, Teddy, Campbell, sir. Yeah. Uh, I met him. I met him um, when I was playing in, in um, with the Soul Seekers in 2000 um, or whatever. And uh, like I said, he told me his name was Theodore. Theodore. And I can give y'all more information, but I don't really want to do it live. Ooh. You know what? This is how we do at the Queen's Court. You want to you want to give us some information? You don't want to do it on live? We're going to get all of that juicy tea. Y'all, Tina Campbell is nuts. You hear me? Nuts. She is 99.9% of the reason why I stopped watching that show. You hear me? Now, I thought that Tina and Teddy were a very cute couple. I still do, you know? But it's just, I didn't like Tina's entitlement. And I don't want no problem with you Christians. I'm not trying to have y'all, you know, you know, trying to come over here and smack me in the mouth like you, my great grandmother. I'm not trying to do that. But we all know that you over Christians can act like Peter with red paint and try to throw that shit on my fur coat. If you know what I mean. EURweb.com reports more infidelity accusations are being tossed towards the husband of Mary Mary singer Tina Campbell. This time from a man. The fallout from Teddy Campbell's reckless philandering played out last season on Tina's Wee TV reality series, Mary Mary. During the current fifth and final season, the couple is shown trying to move on from the infidelity but helping other couples plagued by cheating. On Friday, a man called into a YouTube talk show hosted by T.S. Madison and Kaya claiming to have had sexual relations with Teddy. The caller said he was a former guitar player for the gospel group Soul Seekers back in 2000 and that he and Theodore used Listen, to hook up. I know that I'm not the only person who felt bad for Teddy. Do you know these people went on tour? Tina went on tour. Tina and Teddy went on tour. And Tina badgered him the entire time. Now, I don't know. From what I understand, I, I didn't go to the show, but I know of people who went to the show. And they said that they were so disappointed that the entire time that woman sat there and talked about how her husband cheated on her. That is a blow to me. Like me, if I was sitting in that theater, I'd be like, what in the world? Why is this man still with her? How much can he take? Now, granted, I don't know Tina's threshold of pain and I don't know Teddy's threshold of pain. But she's been beating him up beside the head with cheating for a good, what, two, three seasons now? I mean, how much can we take? How much can so he So I take? knew the ratings for this show was flailing. You know, I stopped watching the show seasons ago because, like I said, I was tired of seeing Tina act so entitled and so, like, engulfed in her husband. And, and just she just acted like nothing else mattered but her family. It's so true. But when you're taking it 
to a point where you're going on tour and you don't even care about whether or not you're profiting and you're putting more money into the tour just so you can tell your story about how much your husband has cheated on you and how it made you feel. I was like, cut, I can't do this no more. This girl is tripping. She is tripping. That's when I was like, oh, Tina's bananas. She's bananas. Now let's get to the um, rumors about Teddy. Okay. Now I'm going to say there's two factors, two strong, I'm going to say two strong possibilities with this. The first one is this, is that, um, he was gay or he is gay or he's always had those feelings inside of him. And that, um, what he did was he was sleeping with a lot of women, um, along the way to try to, um, stifle the, uh, feelings of the feelings that he had towards other men because sometimes what happens is that um people are ashamed of their demons not that sleeping with the same sex is a demon because y'all know who I am and y'all know what I am but sometimes what happens is when people are ashamed especially Christians um when they're ashamed of who they are they plummet themselves into what they believe they should be which means the church or women. Hence why he was so reckless with the cheating because Tina said that, you know, some of the women that he slept with was in her house, you know? And I've told y'all several times, sometimes these men, their brains be broke. And the only thing that can fix it is vagina. So the second factor is this. I'm sure that there's a reality TV show in the making for Tina and Teddy, I'm sure. And what is the formula for um, a good reality TV show and for ratings is drama. Because see, everybody's sick and tired of hearing about him cheating. We're sick and tired of that. Everybody is. What we're not sick and tired of hearing is of a Christian man who has a possible rendezvous with somebody in the band and don't forget this band or the soul searchers group or whoever, that's the same group that Erica Campbell's husband was in. What's his name? Warren. Okay. So believe me, if it's true, Warren may know a little piece of something too. Now don't forget this little tidbit. Erica said that her and Warren has had their infidelities issue too. It's just Erica got over it. Tina wasn't strong enough to get over it. You know, I hate to say that you have to be strong to get past, you know, cheating, but you do because it takes a heck of a person to be able to endure and rebuild trust after cheating, right? I just be like, Tina, girl, you're not the only woman on this earth that ever got cheated on. Just, I don't know, she's just so out of the top. But what I'm saying is I'm telling you that because of, uh, these rumors of him being gay. And then the thing about it is, I'm like, they playing this so well because, okay, they did weren't married in 2000. They were married after that. I'm sure because they've been married for about 15 years and it's 2017. So he was single then. So, or he might've been dating her. I'm not sure, but he was single then. So it lines up right. If, you know, he say that he was that guy before they got married because, you know, she already feeling real stupid about him cheating all over her. Because who's not going to tune in to see if Teddy is really gay or not? Who's not going to tune in for that type of drama? Because it ain't like it ain't happened before because it's truly happened on Married to Medicine. You know, people sell their souls for a, a reality TV show. Yeah, heck, you know. They got to recoup all that money they lost on that bum ass tour. Now, don't be, I know I didn't piss you Christians off. Don't be coming over here like Peter trying to throw red paint on my fur. But, you know, y'all just keep your mind open. One day I'm going to grow up, y'all. One day I am going to grow up and be a better person and mature. One day.
But until then, like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon at Narob on YouTube. Now, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up are the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my Patreon loves. Have a good one. Deuce.